Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Husky Headlines. Welcome to Husky Headlines, your go-to source for all things Bloomsburg, from campus updates and community stories to the biggest news shaping the world. We bring you the headlines that matter, keeping Huskies informed and connected. We're going to send it over to the other side of the studio to hear about this week's weather. Hello, I'm this edition's weather person, Liz, and today we'll be looking at the week of October 21st through the 27th. Starting off on Monday, we've got a high of 75 and a low of 43, looking a bit warmer than Sunday, but with the same clear and sunny skies. On Tuesday, you can expect some cloud coverage with highs in the mid-70s and lows in the mid-40s, and it might feel like the low 80s around noon, but the shade from the cloud should keep the heat from getting too extreme. On Wednesday, we're going to see more clouds, but temperatures will stay about the same at highs in the 70s and lows in the 40s. Then on Thursday, we're looking at cooler temperatures in the mid-60s and lows in the mid-40s. It should stay mostly cloudy throughout the day. Ending classes on Friday, skies will be sunny at some points and cloudy at others, with a high of 61 and a low of 45. Kicking off our weekend with temperatures rising back near 70 and the lows staying in the 40s with clear skies. And finally on Sunday, you can expect plenty of sun and highs in the 70s with lows around 40 degrees. That concludes this week's forecast. I'm Liz. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Liz. We're hoping that sun prevails. The Games Room in Care Student Union is open every day this week from 5 to 11 p.m. This Friday will also be a Super Smash Bros. tournament from 6 to 10 p.m. in Care Student Union Hideaway Room, 231. On Wednesday, October 23rd, the Fall Billiards Tournament will be from 7 to 9.30 p.m. You can contact BU Student Involvement for more information. Want to be part of our news show? There will be a National Broadcasting Society meeting Wednesday, October 23rd from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Well, this past weekend was the annual homecoming celebration, where many families came into town and homecoming royalty was crowned. Lower Campus was virtually empty on Saturday, October 12th, as students, faculty, and alumni all gathered at Redmond Stadium to watch the Huskies take the field against East Stroudsburg. In a tragic loss of 0-31, to the Huskies fought hard, but not hard enough. Despite the loss, there was another exciting event going on that day, homecoming. The crowning of the Bloomsburg Homecoming Royalty happened at halftime. Each of the seven nominees that ran for royalty ran with a platform to bring attention to. And after voting took place from the 7th through the 9th, one first place winner was crowned. This first place winner was Caitlin Short. We spoke with Caitlin about her win and she had this to say. I'm feeling great, a little shaky. I just wanted to share people my story. I never by it, short means her platform of acceptance, awareness, and confidence for the deaf and hard of hearing. It was great. I, I really enjoyed sharing my story. I decided to post on the Snapchat stories, Instagram stories, just got the word out to anyone that I knew. I was in bus I'm in Boston, so I told everyone in Boston that I was running. So yeah. In addition to the royalty, Homecoming brought forth a banner contest. With the Homecoming theme of Gnome Sweet Gnome, there were nine banners, but in the end, the National Council Association Student Club was the winner. It was a memorable homecoming for Bloomsburg students and alumni alike, as festivities lasted throughout the week. Along with the Homecoming royalty, the annual banner contest took place, and the winning club was also crowned at halftime. Prior to the homecoming game, the annual Chalk the Walk competition was held, displaying chalk art in front of our Scranton Commons for everyone to see. On October 9th, BU Student Involvement held a Chalk the Walk event on the sidewalk between Care Student Union and Scranton Commons. For this event, students were asked to come out and decorate the sidewalk with chalk drawings for a chance to win Husky Gold. Each student or group was given a square of the sidewalk to design however they wanted. The theme for the drawings was Gnome Sweet Gnome, which was also the overall theme of Homecoming Weekend this year. This event drew a wide variety of students, all wanting to showcase their artistic abilities and to have fun. Let's hear from a few of the contestants about why they joined this competition. Well, I really like just making art and using chalk as a medium for making art. 
Um, the theme this year is Gnome Sweet Gnome, which is also really cool. I like drawing and my friends are doing it. Okay. Uh, so I'm actually running for Husky Homecoming Royalty, so it's a way to get out there also, get involved. Well, we did it last year. We just happened to walk by it and then did it in four, uh, 45 minutes and happened to win like third, I think. Or second? I think we were third. Third or second, whatever it was. So we were just like, we have to do it again. My inspiration was actually some of the workers over here. They were giving me ideas. I looked at the picture and I went from there. I wasn't really inspired by this drawing. Um, I kind of just had fun and I made it with whatever I thought of at the time. Halloween. Halloween, <laughs> but gnome sweet gnome. Yeah. So okay. we just mixed them together. <laughs> like, what season is it? Fall. <laughs> yeah. So we thought it'd be cute to me be a witch and her be a vampire. So. Overall, Chalk the Walk was a successful event that brought some extra beauty and fun to our campus ahead of homecoming weekend. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Sarah Dobson. And I'm Eric Wood. We'll see you next time at Husky Headlines.